There really is very little left to say about Rob Ford. The truth is that man is so messed up, if he didn't have family and money, he would probably be on the streets barking at parking meters. He's this close to biting the heads off live chickens on the Latin American freak show circuit. But no, of course, instead, he's the mayor of Canada's largest city. And like another man, whose name escapes me at the moment, but recorded a song called Gangnam Style, he is temporarily an international sensation. So, is he bad for Toronto's reputation on the world stage? Not really. If anything, he makes us more interesting. And let's face it, Toronto could use the help. So why is he so popular? Well, number one, he's obviously entertaining. He's gone from being a car crash to a 10-car pileup to a scene in a disaster movie where space junk flies out of the sky, crashes into an overpass, it tumbles over, crushes a busload of singing nuns. Huge laughs. The other reason he's so popular? Number two, his agenda. What about all those people in Ford Nation who say they will vote for him tomorrow? What they are saying, loud and clear, and what everyone on the left should pay attention to is this. They are saying, we would rather have a guy on crack than a mayor who will raise our taxes. They are saying, we don't care if he drives his Escalade drunk through the city. We care that he wants to privatize garbage collection. They are saying, we will vote for a gerbil if we get a dollar back. <laughs> Rob Ford's popularity has nothing to do with the man himself. He is a circus act, but his politics are very real, and they should not be written off just because he's about to be.